know, I'm gonna have to hope it's not too packed and every chest in the world isn't looted yet. Okay, it's not looking too bad at first sight because the first chest isn't looted. Oh yeah, you get thieving XP. I forgot about that. I should have <laughs> popped a studious elixir before going in. That could have been fun. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna have to unlock, I think it's like 3,000 trading sticks. But can you click them? No, that's just for the gloves. I would have to trade one of those motherfuckers. Gonna have to look for some gear, get stuff to kill stuff, look for a magic short bow and whatnot. Would love to kill blood shamans, because blood diamonds would in fact be useful. Wonder if they changed... Yeah, let's have a look here. Oh, it can drop a tome of fire now. Damn. Magic might become more and more viable in the Razi uh, island at this rate. Um, these were there before, I believe. I don't know if this one is improved, but I don't think so per se. Um, yeah, looking alright. I don't know if you could even can get like rev runes and stuff here though. It's cool, that's pretty cool. Unlimited fire runes from the tome as well, which is a nice benefit I do suppose. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go look around and do some stuff. I'm only one wood cutting. I, I don't know if you can even make trading sticks with one fletching, to be fair. That may, may not be the way to go here. Normally I could just wood cut, fletch it into trading sticks, and that's a pretty solid way to get 3k. It's faster than you would expect, but yeah. I'll see you guys in a little bit. We're gonna try and get some gear and whatnot. I'm gonna kill everything I come across, but uh, we'll make some progress. Damn, bro, like four fucking dark beasts inside of this little... Uh, well, I've already been looted, what do you mean? Four dark beasts inside of here, that's pretty rare to see. Damn, someone should kill those. Looks like someone died over there. Oh, you ripped the masks and shit. Oh, just got a magic short bow, but I got no arrows, just bolts. Alright, my boy Himiko, shout out to him, he's helping me out a little bit with how much Karazi just has changed over time. Like, for example, this dungeon right here. So many different mobs that didn't use beer, not a little rune kite shield from that. I don't think the Black Mask does anything, but they drop coins now, and apparently you can buy skill capes on the island. I, 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 I didn't fucking know. I also got a Zemi staff and some fire runes. If I can get some blood and air runes, I would be able to cast Flames of Zamorak, as well as the fact that I have the cape, so I could even charge. Uh, fuck you need for charge spell, though. Blood and air. Oh, the, the exact same runes. Okay, that's pretty ideal. Sadly, this account doesn't have 90 Slayer, so I can't even kill the Dark Beast, which is a little unlucky. But uh, I'm trying to get some my hands on a few nature runes. Moss Giants drop those, which is nice. Because then I could uh, elk some stuff. Do Wyverns actually fuck you over with fire here? I have no idea. Alright, we're now capable of getting Slayer tasks. This is the first time I've ever done this. Wow, look at how much the shop has expanded. No, it, this is definitely working. This is definitely working. Now 15%, 100 Slayer points, 100 trading sticks. Uh, this, this jungle totem is uh, 1,500 sticks. I'm gonna need more for that. I'll at least go get the Leaf Blade of Battle Axe. Increases damage against Turf and Kuras Task. Doesn't matter, it's a really good item. Oh, you can get the Skimmy Rune Crossbow. Does this one sell bolts? Yeah. Huh. During Slayer Tasks and stuff, wait. It might even be better than just the Leaf Blade of Battle Axe. I'm keeping these rune items in case I can get my hands on some nature runes so I can alk them for coins. Because apparently you can buy skill capes now and oh man, it's so much has changed. Holy shit. Uh, so how much do these cost? 50 trading sticks, 40 slayer points. Does this guy even have slayer points, man? Yeah, 2.3k. In hindsight, maybe I should have just done it on Raymond and traded to the uh, <laughs> the scrolls at the end, but... Wow, super combat pots for sale and everything. Wow, this is such a huge change. They really made it much smoother. Hey, we got a Karazi mask. We totally wasted 100 sticks on the uh, black mask in that case. This one is significantly better. Does it show what it does in here? Yeah. 15% PVM damage in Karazi jungle. So it's the same as a black mask, except the mask is only on task and only for melee. So way more restricted, whereas this one works on everything. Huge upgrade, very nice to get. It's just that you never know when you're gonna get an item like that, right? So still think it might have been worth to get the mask. But this time we get lucky and we don't need it for that long. Ooh, found my first Tsar cat, boys. Let's see what we get. I don't, does Tuckle even have a use on the island? Onyx bolts are pretty sick. So the armor is really good, shield would be really good, and what do we get? Tuckle. I mean, to be expected, right? But I, I just don't know if they have any use on here. Tuckle, per se. My boy Himiko lowered to the jungle demon for me and then logged out, so now I just need to finish it off. And it should be given my kill, and that should also complete the last daily and achievement. Absolutely beautiful. Would have been fucking hilarious if that dropped a, uh, <laughs> a Sun Spear, but you know, we take it. That is another big one out the way, why not? 
It's not like he really needs the achievements, but you know, now it's over. Don't have to worry about it anymore. May as well, right? There's a druid on me somewhere. Still trying to get some nature runes, man. I got so many alcohols at this point. If you can just get some nature runes, that would be a solid way to get some money very quickly. Just elk everything, right? I even got had some fire runes stacked up for that and shit. But nothing is dropping it so far, sadly. You can get amethyst arrows? How? Bro, I got a lot to learn, guys. Karazi is has had so many small updates over time that it feels like a completely different minigame now. And there's a Karazi Spear. Sure, we'll take it. Why not? Can always be used for the Wanderer. And I'm not wearing any cloak right now because I've banged my uh, my thingy, the other one. I don't remember the name. Zamora Cape. Fuck me, bro. Slayer Staff. Oh, wait a minute. Could a Slayer Staff not be pretty... I just dropped 250 death runes because I thought they would use would be useless. Wait, not Ivan Blast. Slayer Dart. Mind and death runes. On task, could it be good? I don't know. I feel like on most RSPS stuff like that isn't really coded well because no one ever thinks of using it, you know what I mean? But in this case, not entirely sure. I am getting some uh, King of the Spoon shit right here. Another Karazi mask. That is pretty insane. That's like two in like less than 20 kills that is really fucking good Got a little spare one in case i die all right just trading everything i need over to raymond because he has 99 smithing and stuff like that hunter for karazi chins all of that shit it should be much more useful now we can hop off and then i'll hop on raymond and just be smooth sailing but at least we got the achievement for flubber so that is really nice um, jungle jungle something jungle rumble for a mini game box the, uh, you can't claim it here. Okay, cool. Gave us a book of infinity. Sure, we'll take it. I finally get some nature runes, but I didn't trade over the fire runes, so I can't do anything with them. Isn't that wonderful? I'll go ahead and get a new task in just a second. Oh, there's some booties. Didn't get any so far. Oh, wait, grog legs. Those are actually better for ranging, aren't they? Yeah, ranged strength even. Way better stats. Fuck the defense. Defense is for noobs. Alright, now that we're properly on Raymond, first of all, we have enough trading sticks to buy this bad boy. I think this now also gives a buff, whereas before it just gave uh, poison immunity, but now it gives 10% PVM damage in Karazi. Huge! So 15% here, 10% here. Some pre pretty decent gear. It didn't take long to get this, like, at all. Oh, I'm so tempted to drop them, they're so rare, but it's only 50 of them, fuck it. Like, just waste of inventory. And yeah, as you can see, you can buy every sort of potion now, except for Staminas, apparently. Including Anti-Dragon, Elemental, in case you get some Visages. Uh, probably buy a few more Bolt... Uh, broad Bolt Packs, because I'm running a little low already. And I still need to get a task, and my buddy just gave a really cool tip. Okay, so Jungle Savage is pretty good. But apparently, if you talk to him again, I'd like to cancel. It will open this interface. So you can actually, you know... Add new favorite task. Let's get rid of all that junk. We don't need that. You can extend them. I don't know if that's... Yeah, fuck it. Let's extend them. And then uh, prefer them as well. Why not? So we will get jungle savages more often. We have enough slayer points on this account as well, which was a bit more of a struggle on Flubber. Um, yeah, I think we have everything we like actually need. How much is this actually? 50 trading sticks. Okay, fuck it. Let's buy one so we can go to the island in a bit. Very easily. Um, and now I can start killing these... Jungle horrors. Wait, no, I got the savages. I need the the ones with the spear, actually, not not these horrors. Horrors would probably be ideal, but uh, Himiko was telling me the savages are really good as well. So yeah, fuck it. Let's get this grind on. It's actually looking really good. This is not even an hour of being on the island, probably. And maybe it is. I don't know. I haven't really kept track, but it felt extremely short. And if you haven't tried Karazi in a long time yourself, because you always thought it was too slow and it took too long to get gear, yada yada. Give it another try. On one hand, I don't want it be, to be overpopulated, but at the same time, a lot has changed and it's it made it a lot more enjoyable. So, apparently, you get blood money from killing Ankus in here. And that is interesting. Wow, because I'm running out of food. Fuck me. <laughs> Hold up. Um, that is interesting because it means they count in the wildy. What does that mean? It means they have a chance to drop their, uh, oh, what's it called? Uh, Ivan Staff. And you can now get a Tome of Fire as well, which boosts the Ivan Staff. So I feel like that might be a ve very valid option now. I don't know. If I can get my hands on that one day, that would be pretty cool to see if that's uh, a valid way of using it on here. 
Can't get imbued a tome, obviously, but still. I also got 10 caskets. How much coins is that? That's a lot of coins. 78k, right? 47k right here. What? Why can't you exchange into... They need to fix that. I literally just had a mass drop and now I get another one. Holy shit, bro. That's a total of four already. How common are they that you get them so much now? Damn. <laughs> I just literally got 750k from a jungle demon. Jesus Christ. That's so much in one go. Fuck the whole elking plan then, I guess. Uh, so now apparently you can talk to this guy. Skill cape shop. And you can buy skill capes. Operate to restore familiar special attack to 100%. You don't really use it on the island. And place one extra trap. That might be good if you actually want to hunt Karazi Jins. Uh, it's useless. I mean, this is pretty useful. Woodcutting on here is really fast. Fast fishing. Oh, I love that it says everything. We're definitely getting this one. Acts as an accumulator. Operate boost ranged stat by 12.5% every 5 minutes. Really, really nice. Give extra greater po points from drinking potions. Okay. What's this one? 10% chance to save runes while spell casting. Doubles runes while rune crafting. 4 time hit point recovery rate. That might not be too shabby at all. I have no fucking clue what this Poptier cape does in here. 1 in 5 chance to receive 4 dose potion while brewing here. Double loot. Save materials while crafting might be useful. Chance to save bow strings while fletching. I, I mean, obviously, I don't have many of these 99s, right? But uh, there are some potentially very good ones there. So unfortunately, up until now, I've yet to see my first Slayer Key. But apparently, if you get the Onyx Drop and you cut it, and then you can trade it in with 100 blood money for a key as well. Oh, and they drop Karazi Imps now? Holy shit, I didn't know that. Damn, huge update, bro. What the fuck? Oh my god, we just got our first ever key. Wow. Can't wait to open that. There's a chance to get like Darkbow and stuff, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's get out of here. Is what I said, but there's another one of my tasks right there. Kill that bitch real quick. Gotta keep Mage Prey on. I need like a fucking anti-fire shield for these stupid wyverns here, man. Tribal Mask. I'll uh, take the food, though. Use some of that right now. I don't know, this motherfucker is running for that chest. No. Gimme. Elixir of Dragon? Battle Road Bottoms? A Dragon Dagger P++? Oh my god, the Dragon Elixir is kinda cool. Let's just pop that right away, just to save some inventory. Dragon Chain Body, is that good or is it not? Two Battle Road Bottoms even. Dragon Throwing Axes, my god, what to keep? I also noticed that I have a room pick in my inventory and my idea for that was I wanted to test mining on here. Because normally for mining you can get uncut onyxes and you can trade those in for more keys. So I was just thinking, right, like, could that be a valid method on the island to get uncut onyxes? Wait, there's a gem rock, right? I don't even know what those give. If I stock up enough room bolts and get, like, uncut dragonstone somehow, I could even make, like, dragon bolt Z and that could be really, really good if Pikea show up and shit. Lots and lots to do. I don't know if I should buy a second cape as well. I kind of really like this one. I'd like to upgrade my machete, that's a thing now. Uh, yeah, for an onyx, you can get an onyx machete. It's not that great though, but maybe for room or uh, wood cutting. What do you have for sale? Just checking to see if there's anything for coins in here. You can get some really good basic gear now, even mystic robes, damn. Uh, glory is buyable. Oh, you can literally buy blood runes in here. Okay, I see. For trading sticks, but you can buy it. Regular energy potion uh, that, that already existed. Can buy box traps, that's great. Adamant pickaxe is buyable. Room boots? Hold up, what am I using at the moment? Snake skin. I mean, room boots are honestly just straight up better, right? Maybe not for ring specifically, but they are generally better, at least for meleeing. 1500 for a falcon glove. Okay, the fact that you can buy blood runes is huge, as far as I'm concerned. Even food is viable now. God damn, bro, they change so much. Learning as we go, but I need 3000 trading sticks for a blast mining scroll. And ironically, I'm, I'm gonna need two of them, so we're gonna be here for a while, but that's fine. I'm really, really enjoying it. Just hope you guys enjoy my excitement around it as well. This is just so fun. I'm making so much progress in such a relatively low amount of time that it's fun. It's really fun. Fuck it. Even gonna drop my magic short bow and rune arrows. I think it's better if we just straight up aim for a dark bow with dragon arrows and save the space on that, especially because I have a dragon dagger now for the special attack until we do end up getting that. So that was my main reason for keeping the MSB. 
The, the crossbow is just way more reliable. I'm gonna try and stack up on uh, on some runite bolts, try and get my hands on dragon stones somehow, and then uh, make some dragon bolts eat. That would be ideal. And you can just, you could even craft uh, cosmic runes, so it shouldn't even be that bad altogether. Hey, we just got another key. Good luck, boys. Let's find a uh, closed chest to use it on. This one closed? Sure is. Good luck, man. Jungle chest, come on! Oh shit, that's a lot of good stuff. A dragon axe? Phoenix crossbow? Let's fucking go, that's an upgrade. I know it is, because my boy was even talking about it. Let's fucking go, 5 ranged strength. Got a jungle casket as well. 250 chins, let's fucking go, I needed that! That is huge. Oh, the Grand Mall announced as well, but I don't care too much about that, to be fair. Uh, dragon axe, I might have to save that for someone else if they want to do... Um, Rosie in the future, that might be alright. 250 chins is the biggest one for me. Dragon play legs, just gonna use those as, as a tanky legs, that's so good, bro. I was gonna save the Grog outfit to eventually catch Chinchampas, because if you have the full set on, it doubles every chin that you catch. Maybe for other hunter shit too, but I don't know about that. No, I don't think so. But, uh, point in case, I was gonna catch him, but now that I see 250 from a casket, I think I'll just focus on getting them passively. I might actually do a lot of Karazi this month because I'm having so much fucking fun doing this. <laughs> you know, I may as well start going for some more Shadow Thumbs and shit, why not? Maybe do some Jungle Demons, get a little spear, Ogre Club and Boots on the island and stuff like that. I mean, fuck it, I've never really done that. Maybe I'll change my mind after a day or two, you never know with me, but... You know, for the time being, I may as well try. Let me grab that anti-fire potion for the stupid fucking wyverns when I go back into that cave. Might have to hunt some dark beasts in order to try and get the uh, dark boat that way. Or if not, at least dragon arrows. Just notice the guy and I kind of want to kill him. I'm so tempted to, bro. <laughs> now that we're already here. I'm gonna go check out this uh, rock right here real quick while we're at it. Wait, I didn't want to drop that. I wanted to drink it. Um, might end up beginning in the near future though, no fucking doubt. Because it's really good blood money. I would just like to have a bit better options. So rubies are a thing. If they can just give random rocks, I was hoping they had like more. <laughs> but you could mine a few of them before it faded away. So if you can get dragon stones from this or maybe even onyxes, then that could be a pretty solid source. I'm gonna go stay here for a little while. Keep you guys updated on my findings. Hey, just got key number three from a little kill in between my jungle demon. Oh damn, and another one spawning right next to me. Watch the back to back key. Easy game. Always hope. Also, did you guys know that you could could fucking operate operate these things? It's it's an unlimited ranging pot now. It's so fucking good. Oh shit, strange thing. Whoa, I just got 25 uncut dragon stones from a earth imp. We need to get our hands on a chisel. Oh, that's not a chisel. Fuck, I need a chisel. How do you get a chisel? I just told this guy you might be able to buy it from the tribe guy, but I'm not sure if you can. That is huge. We need. Runite bolts. We need a lot of runite bolts. Okay, so you can't directly buy a chisel. But my mate Himiko told me to buy survival bags. I just got interrupted by this stupid blood shaman. If we buy survival bags, we can potentially pull a chisel. Wow, that's still not enough inventory to open up everything, apparently. Good to know. Thanks, game. I need a bit more inventory space. I need to cut all of these into dragon stones and then uh, into dragon stone tips, basically. Hmm. Okay, if you have a full inventory available, it kind of gets the job done. And you can get some implics from them, apparently. Really use some uh, cosmic runes right around now to enchant them afterwards. Did I keep my rune bolts? I did not keep my runite bolts, okay. Fuck. I might have to get more of those, damn it. Right after spending like 900 plus trading sticks on fucking... Uh, <laughs> Uh, survival bags and having a whole pile of junk there. Don't do that for chisels. Just open the chest. It's more likely to get one that way, probably. Alright, finally got ourselves a little chest here. Let's see what we get from the third key. Holy, holy shit! A Tome of Fire and two Infernal Elixirs. What the fuck? <laughs> what is that, bro? <laughs> That is insane! Tome of fucking fire on the island first and foremost, and then two Infernal Elixirs. Not one, two! This is gonna be the new, uh... Wait, we got a smoke battle staff as well? Eh, Karasi Moss right after, why not? You know, just add on top. Sorry for my over-the-top excitement, that is so insanely good. Battle robot? Bro, I'm gonna make a fucking mage setup at this rate. 
smoke battle staff, bro? <laughs> I'm gonna be casting fire surges left and right. Can you get wrath runes on here? That is the big question. I think it's absolutely fantastic to get a smoke battle staff. It's really cool, but I just tested it real quick. By comparing these two, right? If you use charge and then Zemi flames, it's a max hit of a 46, and then with the fire surge and the staff, it's only a okay, now it's a 47. Does the staff give like a max hit boost or some shit? Because a second ago it wasn't. Okay, that's odd. It, I guess it is slightly better. Never mind. Okay, steam battles or smoke battle staff it is. Never. Mind. Although, even though I'm saying that, <laughs> the thing is, right? I can buy the runes to cast Flames of Zami, and I would have to hunt Wrath runes to cast Fire Surge. And that is something where I have to weigh is one worth more than the other. Is a plus one max hit worth very scarce resources to cast versus being able to just buy Blood runes from the store. I don't even need Death runes for that. I don't know why I kept those, to be honest. I don't think you need those for anything. Oh yeah, I wanted to try uh, Ivan Blast in case I got that, but there's absolutely not going to happen anymore. Keep air runes, those are useful. Although I have a, if I use the smoke... Oh, there's ups and downside, bro, I need air runes. <laughs> and then now I have to get manual runes. Fuck, I don't know what's better. We'll see what we get.